Okay, so PTTP is here in Ten Valley at the headquarters south. So it's the only headquarters so far that I found that has a north and a south site. I've come here first, A because it's kind of on route, um, and B it's still light enough to fly the drone and there's no flight restriction zones here. The north site is very close to an airfield. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't imagine there's much to see up here on a Sunday. Ah, look at that. So we've got one marked patrol unit. Little response unit. Here, it's got the asterisk, so that'll be an armed response unit. Which is pretty cool. Very cool indeed. Yes, yeah, so it's got the two, it's got asterisks either side on the front there. Which usually denotes an armed response. You can see it's got the asterisk up on the top of the vehicle there as well. Very good. Other than that, we've got this little building over here. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, this building is for authorised access only and is not open to the general public. To report a crime or incident, please use the free phone in the yellow cabinet to the right of this door. This automatically connects to the police inquiry centre. Uh, they cannot accept found property. Okay. Uh, the public counter is across the car park, but it's closed today. Yeah, interesting. And then they've got the car park back here. Again, very empty, but it is a Sunday. Um, I shouldn't imagine there's a lot of response vehicles in that here. This is most likely. Um, like a, a work site, an office site, but you do have a van down at the back there. They have a delivery site there. And they're flying the very ragged Thames Valley flag. Kind of constabulary flag that is, with the crest on. Yeah, it's very, very ragged on the ends. And I've got the crest up on the side of the building there. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look like there are any lights whatsoever on on the oh um, in the building. Got a car coming out here. It'll be taken by surprise. Two unmarked vehicles. Um, yeah, other than that, it's a very empty car park actually. There's literally uh, nothing in there to see. There's just the. Oh, look at this for a vehicle. That's an interesting one. Oh, they got the mobile police station there. Very, very cool. So I've seen a couple of those parked up in places, but I've never been fortunate enough, fortunate enough to see one on the on the move. Um, 
looks like she has to actually open the door and lean out to reach the card thing. There appears to be some issues. Not having any luck with that card whatsoever. I'm still so impressed with how good the zoom is on this phone, though. I have to admit. Yeah, so I didn't know they actually still use these mobile police stations. So I'm not entirely sure what it is that they're used for, but access card, which is odd. But I don't know if she's going to have to go and find somebody. Yeah, not having much luck with your card there, are you? <laughs> it's a very cool reunion though. How often do you take those out? What, the mobile place? Yeah, I've seen a couple parked around before, but I've never actually seen one no, out. Whenever we book it, so we can book it. Ian Wilkins is the PCSO in the neighbourhood office in there. Right, okay. He sort of, I don't know, looks after the bookings and what have you looked out. He's very quiet always email. Yeah, yeah. So email him, and as long as nobody else has booked it, then you can book it. As long, the trouble is, like, I'm old enough to have grandfather rights to drive it. Right, okay. Whereas a lot of the youngsters, obviously, they can't drive it. On oh, because on a standard license, yeah. it doesn't come with that sort of yeah. uh, heavy yeah. vehicle. So, oh, interesting. So what do you actually do with the mobile police stations? So it's literally a mobile police station. That's what it is. So if we do, if there's a major incident or somewhere, mm -hmm. they'll come and take it. And I think they have priority over it. Right. Um, but I think Milton Keynes have got their own one and Reading might even have so this one stays around here predominantly mm -hmm. but we use it and go and take it out we've been doing have your says all day oh, okay. so Brilliant. we take it out to like little villages and that yeah, where yeah. there used to be a police station or a police office yeah now there isn't yeah because a lot of them um, closed down yeah. and, that, yeah. and like Whitney today say so Madley Park in Whitney I don't know if you know it they have a big problem with antisocial behavior and right okay and what have you. so we're going to park that in the middle advertise it that we're there for an hour people or come two and, talk and to people you. come and talk to us. How's the response been with that? Brilliant. They... This morning, Madley yeah. Park, we were really busy, like they, rammed. They've been I mean, keeping you busy with yeah, things to constant. be working on then. <laughs> so, and that and Carterton this morning, we mm -hmm. went to Carterton afterwards at the country park in Carterton. That was really bit although they don't have any issues there. They used to. Yeah, yeah. They don't. But then we took it to Middle Barton, which is a little tiny village out sort of Chippy Banbury way, not a soul. No, nobody at all. Nobody yeah. at all. And it was there advertised everywhere, yeah. but nobody turned up. So Well, they can't complain then when well, the, exactly. if anything happens. And then when you people know. say, oh, we never see you around, you yeah. never come over, you, well, we do, and we advertise it, but nobody comes, so yeah, yeah. What, what do you do? Well, exactly that. I mean, it's very quiet around here, is it just because it's a Sunday? or Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's because there's, there's not many marked vehicles here or anything, which no. is what comes well, to because yeah. this is headquarters. Yeah, so they so don't do, tend to operate from here. Do you work here. in here then, or do you? No, I'm just here to take us some photos and that, really. <laughs> And um, I saw the uh, marked unit down there, which I assume is a, an armed response unit because it's got the asterisks on. Yeah. And you've got a van parked in there, but I just kind of like to come around and take photos and that of like police vehicles and police sites and things like that. Um, but yeah, I literally just got here and um, I, was, I was just 
say to the camera that I've seen that one in the van in there and that's about it. So yeah. I wasn't going to stick around much longer. I saw you coming in. I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't get to see that. So I was taking... Yeah, was, so it's literally yeah. a mobile face paint. That's what she's called. There you go, but brilliant. But it has got all the stuff on top. So yeah, yeah. I think that's probably all a little bit out of date now. Yeah, but, probably. Because everything's digital now and, mm -hmm. and that's obviously an old analogue system. But yeah, yeah. it's old, but it works. Perfectly. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Cheers. There we go, very lovely lady there um, at Thames Valley Headquarters South. Um, having issues with her cards, but the card appears to have let her into the main building there, so I don't know why it's not letting her through the gate. Um, oh, reserved parking for Lord Lingfield. So we've got the Thames Valley Headquarters South, authorised vehicles and delivery vehicles only be on this point, but it's a visitor parking overflow as well, and you've got occupational health down there. So we're going to have a little look, see if there are any marked units down here. I would say this is a public road, so you've got um, an access gate there to somebody's backyard. So I definitely can't say that this is a private road. Very interesting site. So we've got yeah, occupational health down its end. Um, a few more vehicles parked around here, but uh, not really any liveried ones. So you've got one down there with some liveries on the rear of the vehicle. I should imagine that it didn't really look like a police van, it didn't have any sirens or lights or anything on top, so probably a support unit of some description. And then coming down here. Big gates that is wide open, so I don't know if this is still part of the constabulary. But this is private car park for residents. Or even if it's a through road, actually. I think it may be. Yeah, I'm not going to fly the drone over here because I don't think there's much to see in the car parks or anything. There's not a lot to see here. Definitely a public road here. Look at all this, yeah, all the way down through there, down to a housing estate. Anyway, I'm going to walk back up to the other side and I'll uh, cut here, pick back up when I get there. Somebody's old uh, <laughs> gardening glove. That's pretty cool. Interesting. The things you see out and about.
Okay, so we're back here at the uh, car park. It appears the lady is still having issues with her security pass. Which isn't good. Yeah. It's an interesting little building, though. Like the old bit of uh, colour, and there's like different shades of purple and blues all mixed in there. It gives it a sort of fluorescent look to it, which I actually quite like. It's very uh, different, unique. Yeah, no, there didn't appear to be any concern from that lady, you know, with me being here. I had two vehicles come out of the gate over there while I was near it, and no issues from them. So all in all, happy, happy days. I think that lady might be the only bloody person on site because she can't seem to get anybody to let her through. I mean, Lord knows what our plan is now. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up here. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to say, as always, to stay safe, remember your rights, and until the next one, ta-ra! Finish up with that, actually. Such a nice vehicle. Show you about the backdrop for it. Hey, right. Tilly. You don't wanna fuck with me. A slow burn like a disease. Just tell me that I can't show you things that you couldn't believe.